Okay, so um, what we have here is we have a, a small looping animation, right? So, you know, there's some waiting issues and stuff going on, but, um, you know, we basically got an animation that cycles, and this is what we want to try and bring into the engine. Um, so what we're going to try and do now is we are just need to, all our animation is on our curves, and um, we can't exactly take these NURBS curves into the engine, so what we're going to do is we're going to end up baking these down. So we're just going to turn off our polygons real quick and this should be good. So we're going to select all the curves we want to bake down. Right, and then we're going to go um, select the joints and we're going to select the root joint of our character. And that's right there. So once we do that, um, what we're going to do is we're going to go to edit and we're going to keys and we're going to bake simulation. Right, so, and just go and reset, right, hierarchy usually says selected, but we want to say below. Um, I have everything selected here, and just the, the root, root joint. Um, I want to make it the entire time slider, uh, but we could also set it for a specific range. Right, and once I do that, I'm just going to hit bake, and it's going to run through the animation, you can kind of see it in the background there. And it'll think for a second. Okay, and I'm just going to turn on the polygons real quick. And so you can see now that um, with that, you know, with our joints selected, right, that um, everything is now, there's a, basically a keyframe, you know, every frame. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're just going to select that and we're gonna go to window settings preferences plugin manager and we just want to turn on the actor x.ml it's already it's already loaded here but um just check it right. once we do that we just need to type into the mail command we're just going to type in ax main right and what we're going to do now is um we're just as you can see it's broken into two different areas one is for the skeletal mesh and one is for the animation right up here this this is what exports the dot psk and then here's what exports the .psa. So um, we're just going to browse, you know, desktop is fine, so we're just going to keep it there. And I'm just going to call the, the mesh name Croker. And the idle is here. Right, and so these will usually just be blanked out. So I like to keep things pretty simple, so I'll just call this idle. And I'll call the sequence name also idle. So if you have many sequences in a long animation, you can kind of break down the range and you can export them as, as kind of separate animations. So I'm just going to put in the range 1 to 60, because that's what I want to export. So first I'm going to save this the, the mesh ref pose, right? And there we go. And then we're going to digest the animation, like so. Right, and it's going to say the animation is digested. And then we're going to go to the animation manager. And we're going to select the animation, and we're just going to move it here to the output package. So, right, like so. And I'm just going to call that idle.psa. Okay, and once I have that, um, I'm pretty much ready to go into UDK. So I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to open up the content browser. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and just import croker.psk and I'm gonna, I'll put it in a different package. And this will sometimes be collapsed, so you just want to make sure that if it is, you just hit none and it will assume my coordinates. So once you do that, um, you'll kind of see just this skeletal mesh here. Uh, if you just double click on it, it's going to take you in the anim set editor. Right. In this case, my character is not built to uh, scale, so just kind of need to get so we can actually see him. 
Right. And what we need to do is we're just going to do new anim set. And then we're going to do file, import PSA, and I'm select the, the idle.psa. Right. And then you should be able to hit play down here, and your character should cycle through their animation. So then you can close that down. And I'm just going to right click and save. Right, so um, you should see the the anim set. If you're not, just just click off your package and come back to it, and it'll it'll show it again. Um, so once we do that, we can select our croaker, and we can come out here, and we can right click, and you can add actor, all templates, and add skeletal mesh, and it'll have the package name and then the mesh name, like so. Right. Right, and I'm just going to add that and that, and that's good. And he's a little bit of below ground, and he's not to scale, so I just need to scale him up. Right, and once I do that, um, just double click on the mesh. Right, and so just go into the skeletal, skeletal mesh after, skeletal mesh component. Right, then skeletal mesh component, and then <coughs> make sure the atom sequence name is typed in here. And you just want to hit plane and looping. So if we used any of the older versions, it says B plane, B looping, but that's pretty much it. Okay, and once you do that, you can close that down, close that down, right, and then you just need to rebuild the lighting. Right, so it's going to run through here for a second. So just wait and wait and wait and wait and wait. Alright, and then we can just play from here. And let me see our animation. Ah. That's it.